Hi, everyone, and welcome to the five-minute summary of this week's Howling Coyote. I'm Louis Malmadrona, speaking to you from the unceded territory of the Penobscot Nation. And I just want to introduce uh, Dr. Margie Mete, who's a professor of nursing at the University of Alaska in Kodiak, Alaska, and has just finished her PhD dissertation on revitalization practices in Kodiak. And for those of you who don't have an hour to spend with us, we're going to, to provide you with a, a five minute summary of, of what she's done and what she's learned and, and where, where she's going next. So take it away, Margie. Thank you, Lewis. So the question I was looking at was the discrepancies between indigenous ways of healing and modern medicine, because I saw them to be very startling and polar contrasts. And so I was exploring how the participants in this community, I'm from Kodiak. So um, to acknowledge this land, I work in the ancient homeland and traditional territory of the Aleutic Sukbiak people. And what I was looking at was um, their concepts of illness and what they felt um, was the best way to approach healing and what their definition of holistic healing was. It explored their, uh, what it meant to be holistically healthy for this community. And it emanated from a concept that illness is the result of an imbalance between the human natural or spiritual realm and that that imbalance needed to be identified in order for a person to heal holistically. And so, um, what I was trying to do was add another layer of the cultural revitalization efforts that were going on in this community. Um, they are doing a lot of their own cultural revitalization, restoring their language, their dance, their songs, their art. Um, a lot of these efforts are very vibrant and in progress, but there seemed to be um, a need to identify and acknowledge the traditional healing practices that this community utilized and to uh, add that to these um, efforts. Um, I had noticed in another person's dissertation um, that they felt that the healing practices needed to be kind of gathered and, and passed on. And so uh, that was something that was what I was trying to add to that, that layer. And um, again, I thought that we always, we, we understand that disease is a consequence that has a lot of varied causation, but even though healthcare providers acknowledge the importance of treating people in a comprehensive manner to alleviate their symptoms, contemporary medical practices are still fragmented and frequently incomplete. And so I thought that the difference between indigenous epistemologies and Western worldviews were having a more devastating impact on well-being than, than any of us are recognizing. So I was trying to explore the importance of promoting balanced holistic health care at what I saw to be a deeper and more essential level to address root causes that are accesses through communication through the natural and spiritual realms versus merely just treating the physical expressions of illness. And so I gathered data from the participants here in the community. And it's and if you have the time, it's a good it's a good story, and <clears throat> and you'll get to hear us talking about um, what would healthcare look like if indigenous people designed it, and how would it be different? And uh, so I hope some of you will be able to listen to the longer version. And if not, um, at least you have a sense of what Margie's doing in Kodiak, Alaska. And, and you know that revitalization is happening there in a, in a, a really good way. And so with that, I will stop this short introduction and invite you to listen to the longer program. <laughs> 